One, two, testing, testing the microphone, testing good. Hello everyone and welcome back to my lovely channel. Hope everyone is well and ready for the second part of the how to wear pink series. Part one was about how to wear cold pinks in summer. If you haven't checked it out, you can go have a look. And this part is a continuation on warmer pinks and transitional wearing as we're shifting towards autumn. Also, all of these outfits are Barbie inspired as well, given all of the movie and Barbie trend going on. But unlike that, these videos are meant to create a Barbie inspired wardrobe that is timeless, classic, sophisticated, that you can always wear, essentially. It takes everything, refines it, only to the timeless, sophisticated looks that you can wear every day forever. It's all about this tasteful wearing of pink colors that would match your skin color, your body shape, the event that you're going, the season, and all of that jazz. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first outfit that we're gonna discuss is the one that I have on me actually, which is this lovely, beautiful, I don't know, it's peachy tones, somewhere between peach and, it's not salmon really, but it brings it, it's a very muted pink, sandy, very skin color like pink. And if you don't wear it well, it does have the tendency of um, washing you out. But I think in my case, it works well. It's a very summery, relaxed look. You can wear it in summer and it's also it also works quite well as a transitional look because it has all of this black in it as well, black accents. And because this is a warm color, I think it goes better with black than a cold color. Colors generally don't go well with black because black, especially for bright colors, Black kills the color. You need to be aware and sensible when pairing black because there's this belief that it goes all very well with everything. Well, not really. It kills the color. You need to elevate this pink with another color or with white. White is your go-to. If you want a timeless, classic, sophisticated look, you pair pink with white always. Now, because this is a warmer tone shade of pink, it's more nudie, and it's a bit darker, the color, the shade of pink, then this one goes well with black. You can pair it with black, but I would just keep it like this, black accents. Before diving into the outfit, let's discuss about what skin tones suit this color. Generally, these warmer pinks suit warmer skin tones. So with a bit more yellow in them. Because I'm neutral, I suit both. At the end of the day, you wear what you feel good in and what you like. Do break the rules if you feel like it works well. Me, because I'm neutral, I suit both. So I created two different videos, one for the cold, one for the warm. If you'd like to warm tones, if you'd like to wash them both, go for it, because they're both very useful. Now, in terms of body shape, I am an hourglass. And in terms of sizes, I always wear extra small. And depending if I want bulkier elements, I go for size S or medium. But it also depends on the company. And tallness, I'm 1.7 meters tall. Different shapes, different body shapes suit different types of clothing in terms of shape and material. But I gave you my uh, body shape and measurements for reference. Because I uh, did these cutouts of me catwalking around my place, I am going to have this tablet because I compiled quite a few outfits. So it's a bit hard for me to remember all of them and the exact accessories. So without further ado, let's get into the first outfit, which I am wearing at the moment, which is this beautiful, summery, beachy-like holiday mode Zara dress. Two years ago, I think I got it. But it's a very beautiful, flowy dress. It's great if you're going to the beach in the south of France, in Barcelona. Where are you going, Barcelona? Well... This is a very beautiful flowy dress from Zara. It's a previous collection, but I'm showing you in terms of color and the shape and how can you wear it. I'm sure you can find something similar. How do you wear this dress? Well, there are multiple ways of wearing it. For the beach mode vibe, I use this dress as a base. What did I pair it with? I've paired this dress with a pair of flats, but you can by all means wear sandals as well. For this cutout, I paired it with these beautiful almond colored, that's how they're advertised, but nude from Vivaya. I call it Vivaya, but people call it different ways. These are the Melia flats. I have a separate video on it. These are a very nice shoe because uh, they're stiletto-like type at the front. What that does, it, it elongates uh, your leg. They're very flattering on the leg. They work very well, but in terms of comfort, mm, no not as comfortable so i'm still looking for that perfect comfortable pair of flats so i paired this dress with these beautiful pair of bangles wide bangles from zara which helps spruce up the outfit a little bit zhuzhes the outfit up 
And then because, you know, it's a holiday mode, I paired it with this beautiful uh, basket bag that I got from Oisho. It's a very good quality dupe for the famous Loewe basket bag. If you have the budget, by all means go for the big Loewe bag. That would be my preferred option as well. But if you don't, there are a lot of basket bags out there that do the trick. This one from uh, Oisho does the trick as well and I use it quite a lot. And it's very roomy, it fits your towel and everything you need for the beach. By all means, I think you can pull it off in the city as well. For me, it inspires, takes me to the south of France, to the beach. I envisage myself walking in the city, going for a coffee and a croissant and all of that jazz. Yeah. Right, the next pairing, it's still informal, but it's a bit more urban. I left the same base dress, but now I changed the accents, the accessories. I've opted for a pair of white, delicate trainers, this beautiful Zara crossbody off-white bag, which is very versatile, and then a white hat. I um, don't consider myself a hat lady, but that one, I think it did the trick quite well. It balances out the outfit, the white hat balanced with the white trainers, and then you have the off-white crossbody to blend in and bring the outfit together. So all in all, it's a beautiful outfit. Now you can drop out the bangles if you'd like, but I think it gives that bit of extra sparkle to the outfit, a bit of extra glam. I need that bit of glam in my life, so I am gonna use it. And then sunglasses. I do love the, the Ray-Ban Aviator sunglasses, I have to say, especially these ones in this crescendo color, top to bottom, uh, they're just, beautiful so this is the more urban city type of outfit which i really love especially for london weathers if you want to go for a walk in a park walk your dog uh, walk your cat people do it these days you can just do it right next outfit <laughs> It's a bit more of a blush color. So it's this beautiful blush shirt, which is at the crossroads, I think, between cold pinks and warmer pinks. And it's a classic look. I paired it in the first instance with these beautiful nude stiletto shoes and this office type of bag. And jewelry, it's the same necklace that I have on now, the same jewelry necklace. And the diamond necklace from jewelry, it's beautiful. And then these daily hooks. Oops, also from the jewelry. A statement ring. This is from Monica Vinida. This is the perfect example of a office outfit. It's a bit of a, I like to call it inverted color approach. A deeper color at the top and a lighter color at the bottom. So this blush shirt, which is very silky and has quite a strong shine to it. With this beautiful long white skirt, also from Zara, which has a shine to it to keep that shine aspect continuous, but less shiny because we don't want it to be too much. So it has a shine to it, but a more delicate one because the top has enough shine. We don't want to overdo it. The rest of the outfit, we kept it uh, quite muted, tacit, and mate. This is an example of how to wear the outfit in office mode, as I like to tell it, workwear. As you notice, I have quite a few examples of workwear, and this is because I go to work every day. <laughs> so you're gonna see a lot of workwear options on this channel. I think it's very useful. You're gonna see both office mode and more informal modes. So the more informal mode is, well, still office, but you can, actually it's a bit dressed down, but still glamorous and sophisticated and timeless. It's this second look where I've kept the shirt and the skirt. So I kept the main clothing components, top bottom, but then I changed the accessories, the secondary elements. Changed the bag. I opted for a classic shaped crossbody bag with this beautiful gold chain, which is neutral. And then these beautiful ballerina leather flats, which are similar to my skin color. So it blends in nicely. This is a more dressed down look and you can wear it both into the office for a walk with friends or if you go to a nice lovely restaurant, meeting friends and all that. So it can work both ways, informal and formal. I think it's at the middle between them, yeah? It's quite of a transitional one. The next one is a bit more of a, I don't know, bohemian? It's a bit more open look. In the next cutout, I've used the same shirt, the same skirt, and I've paired it with these beautiful, lovely nude sandals that you've seen before to open it up a little bit, the outfit, make it a bit lighter, breezier, but still smart. And then I paired it with this beautiful vintage gold crossbody bag from Valentino and a boucle type of look. I think this is, it's a very playful look when you have this, this beautiful wavy hair. You can definitely go to a, I think, um, an after office party or a more uh, formal event. The next outfit 
I kept the same shirt, but I changed the skirt. I opted for a short skirt. Still the same pair of sandals, still the same crossbody bag. I changed the skirt because why not? For those ladies who like to show off their legs, do it because we all have beautiful legs. You can opt for a shorter short or skirt or skirt. That again, complements your body shape, fits you well and gives you that hourglass look. So in this instance, this is a high-waisted skirt and it works, blends beautifully and it elevates the outfit. Next outfit. So for the next one, I kept the same skirt, the same shirt. What I did is I changed the bag and the shoes. So you can wear it in the office, that one, pending different offices have different rules about shorts. But if it's a bit more of a casual environment, then you can wear the trainers with, with it. I think it pairs very well. It's a very chic, effortless, powerful look. And it's great for those summer months as well it's quite breathable again the trainers the secret for those trainers is the fact that they're slim trainers they hug your foot they're not bulky and robust and then this beautiful formal workwear bag it's a clean simple look primary pieces that will build up the look is made out of this beautiful off-white silk shirt yeah as you can see it goes back to what i said about materials it's very sheer so that's why this type of shirt as you'll see from the, from the cutouts you wear it with a very nice nude bra that is your skin color so it doesn't show and or if it's too sheer and it still shows and you need to go into the office then i'd opt for a beautiful lace body underneath skin color i paired this beautiful silk shirt with this beautiful lace pencil skirt which is a, a blush pink towards salmony type of skirt well i don't know correct me if i'm wrong but um it's a lovely color now if you wear this with another shade of pink it can wash you out so i would pair it with white to elevate make your face pop because you wear the clothes and not them you yeah so they need to compliment you not you them in the first look i paired it with these beautiful vintage gold stilettos which i bought a while back i don't know from where I bought them, honestly, but they're beautiful. They're a muted type of gold, which elongates my leg. It's quite good. This is a formal office look, by the way. Shirt, pencil skirt, off-white handbag, beautiful classic jewelry pieces. These are very versatile, timeless pieces. You can wear them everywhere. And it's gold vermeil, so they're not as expensive as the actual gold. I'm not advertising and I'm not working in partnership with any of these brands. I'm just trying to share with you uh, and talk about my own experiences and my own ways of wearing things and what works and whatnot. But in terms of jewelry, I think best brands out there at the moment are Majuri for gold. And then for gold vermeil, Monica Vineda, because their vermeil lasts a long time and it doesn't go black. It doesn't rust. Whereas with Majuri, it's a bit of a hit and miss with their gold vermeil jewelry. Some of them go black and they go black quite fast. Yeah. So th this is my own personal opinion. So this is the first outfit. Delicate jewelry, fine watch. You can wear it with that as long as it's the same gold nuance because that warms up the outfit. I think it would go with silver as well, but I'm not a silver type of gal. I like, I like my gold. This is a formal dressed up look. The next look, I kept the same shirt and pencil skirt. What I did change is the bag. So I opted for this beautiful uh, crossbody uh, Chanel-like bag from Rosalind Bromley. And then I changed the stilettos with a pair of ballet flats, which are my skin color as well, to elongate and keep that feminine look going. That is another classic way. Dress down a little bit because you take out the heels, but still. And this, you can wear it both in the office, depending on if you have to carry a laptop or not, or when you're going out with your friends, yeah, in the city. It works both ways. Now, the next one, the only thing that I change in the next outfit is ballerinas to sandals. You can wear it in the office as well if they allow you. I'll definitely do it, um, especially in hot summer days. Or you can wear it to a nice lunch out with friends or to any sort of formal event, which is in summer. It's quite a nice look and timeless look. I love it. And obviously, don't forget about your sunglasses with all of these looks, because you need them. Next outfit. the party world 
called day night uh, mode and it will take this beautiful bodycon dress as the base and this is beautiful it's a lovely fringed dress with sequins got it several years back and it's beautiful neutral warm pink reminds me of you know charleston moments and such this tablet does not recognize my face anymore Ooh. done so you can just wear it by itself with a pair of nude sandals and minimal jewelry and also you can wear it with these beautiful uh, gold bangles that always makes me feel like an Egyptian goddess <laughs> because that is your central element and you don't want too much going on around it. The ideal pairing is going to be a small pochette which is a nude matte color or this is my only neutral dusty gold pochette that I have but it's just it doesn't take it, it blends well with the outfit it works with it it doesn't take from the outfit so you can wear a bound means like this but if it's a bit breezy if it's a bit windy like it is in the UK then you'd pair it with a beautiful long white blazer and it's the same Zara blazer that I've showed you before it works well with short dresses because the distance between the end of the blazer and the end of the dress is just enough for that beautiful layering moment. And I paired it with these beautiful nude sandals and the heel is transparent. Let's not forget Barbie inspired. And with Barbie you have these plasticky moments, but see, it's a subtle moment. Tasteful, it's delicate, it's tacit. So this is one way of wearing it, you wear it at parties. Also, if you have a commute in between or you're not too much of a heel person, you can swap the sandals with a pair of ballet flats in a similar nuance and skin colored and pair it like that and it still works. I wouldn't wear it with stilettos because it's not the type of dress you would wear with stilettos. You need an open look. Yeah, you need open toes. Next outfit. For the next outfit, we have this beautiful, lovely, long, flowy dress, which cut right under the bust. I paired it with this lovely cardigan. It's an old cardigan from Pull and Bear actually and it has this very nice pattern to it and it's quite sheer. It's um, a beautiful light pink towards nude. They go very well together. They are both vintage Pull and Bear and vintage Bershka. I have them since 2012 if you can believe it or not. Again an example that timeless last. You get them once and you'll love them forever. How did I pair it? So using that as a base, paired up with a beautiful, lovely nude sandal like I did in the video and a nice, elegant crossbody bag. And there you have it. If you want to go for an event, it has the summery beachy vibes to it. This is a smart way of dressing up. Then if you want to dress it down slightly, swap the sandals with a pair of nude flats that can give you the same vibe. I changed the bag as well for a smaller crossbody bag and it's one level down in terms of dressing up but it still keeps that sophistication and the glamour in it within it's quite luxury now how do you dress it down even more but still keep that bling and the the edge in it you change the flats with these beautiful gladiator vintage gold sandals keep the same crossbody bag but then what you do is you add those beautiful gold pair of bangles which adds a bit of symmetry and brings the entire look together and it's an effortless thing the bangles is everything that you need not wear anything but the bangles you can wear this to the beach in the city it's a very relaxed look and that long dress as well it's very floaty it's a beautiful look Next outfit takes us back to work and it's this beautiful set they're vintage Zara I got them since 2007 I think so these are actually separate pieces which I brought together to show you that you can actually pair similar pieces together if it's from the same color family and they fit it's a formal towards informal office wear yeah because of the flowiness of the material and the style of this work attire how did I pair it with in my first cutout this is a more relaxed outfit you can by all means pair it with sandals you can by all means pair it with stiletto shoes but for the purpose of this I paired it with a pair of slim trainers and this beautiful tank top which is a ribbed top actually and it has this beautiful lace detail at the front and it has this very beautiful lace detail at the back as well so back and front 
This is an old Stradivarius one. What did I pair them with? The trousers, I put a beautiful gold belt on top and I paired it with this beautiful Chanel-like handbag, medium size handbag. Also, when wearing a handbag, the size of the handbag needs to match your body. Don't get a bag which is too large because then it will overtake everything. And the only thing that you are gonna be able to see is the bag, which you don't want. You want people to see you. So it always takes us back to wear things that complement you and not the other way around. And so yeah, I paired it with this beautiful bag and then beautiful simple jewelry. It just shows how beautiful the are, these are and this shape, it's just you can wear it with anything. This shape of earring and it's very flattering, it's very feminine shape. And same as this beautiful necklace which gives me Cleopatra vibes again because it's this beautiful gold. It has this beautiful shine to it when you wear it and it's just sophisticated. And then the pair of shoes my very relaxed bun because that's how I like to wear things and then a pair of beautiful sunglasses so this is a formal casual office look if you want to dress this down even more and for example urban city street look you want to go shopping or you're meeting some friends in the city if you want to dress down this outfit further just change the bag with a lovely Zara off-white bag and what I did is I turn up the ends of the trousers so you turn them up a little one or two times to expose your beautiful, elegant ankle and to let more air go in. And for this is also for a more relaxed and yet so chic look that the Italians always have. of the next outfit is this beautiful blush or dusty pink rather suit from Zara which is actually this year's collection. What I like about this suit is it's a good material it's a good mix between viscose and polyester because polyester makes it easy to iron and as such but it's still breathable because it has the viscose in it and also the shape of it. The blazer is slim so it gives you that hourglass shape and you can wear it both open and buttoned and it will give you the same hourglass glass shape look because it has these beautiful stitches at the back and they do their stitches quite nicely yeah so you need to be a bit of, of an inspector gadget in the sense that after you purchase them you need to go and um, cut the loose threads because you will have that with high street fashion but after that their stitching is very elegant and it's not me telling you this it's actually from my dressmaker a lovely lady who every time I go and take all of my trousers to trim a little bit because Zara trousers are quite long she was always impressed by the way Zara do their stitching very well done stitching and the fact that it takes tailored to um, highlight your waistline and then it has the, these very pronounced shoulders in terms of blazers Zara do blazers very well I must say from all of the brands that I try Zara is the answer how did I pair this blazer I am going to show you both how I style them together and separately the first pairing that I did is a more formal workwear look so I paired it with my dusty gold stilettos and a slightly darker blushed bag yeah so that blush is a slightly darker nuance to the color of the suit and they go very well together and then a white tank top is the same ribbed top with a bit of lace for an extra drop of femininity and mystery sexiness why not in all my outfits I always want that element of sexiness in them because I am a woman I have this body I need to celebrate my body and we should all do that so I paired it with this beautiful tank top and just a simple relaxed bun. This is smart formal. Now taking it one level down, dressing it down, the next pairing that I did is I changed the shoes to this beautiful pair of trainers. If you were looking for a more delicate trainer, Reebok do some very nice delicate um, trainers that follow your the shape of your foot. So I paired it with this beautiful Reebok trainers and a very delicate watch, not like the one that I'm wearing now. For a day to day I do like my big bulky uh, Apple watch because I use it a lot. But for that example, they also paired it with a more delicate watch. The same classic office bag. And then I paired it with this beautiful turtleneck. You can find a lot everywhere on the high street. Um, I like mine from Zara, <coughs> obviously. And because uh, it's done predominantly with viscose, which is a great material. And if you know how to take care of them, they wear pretty well. If you know how to wash them, how to debobble and all that, they wear pretty well and they're breathable. The turtleneck is one of my favorite pieces to wear, especially transitioning into autumn and winter. Yeah, those cold months because it's such an elegant, 
classic timeless piece. And side note, it's the Arctic's favorite. <laughs> All Arctic's wear it. I worn it so much. I think I have 10, 12, 20 turtlenecks in different colors and shapes, different materials for all sorts of seasons because it's such a nice classic intellectual look. Steve Jobs wears it as well. So it makes you very smart and sophisticated. It's a good one. With turtlenecks, it matters the, the length of your neck. Depending on the length of your neck, if you want to elongate your neck, because it's quite short, you would go for a full turtleneck. But if you have a long neck and you want to shorten it a little bit, you go for halfway turtleneck or something. So it can shorten, bring it down a bit, the neck. You can do that. But a turtleneck is a classic. I've inserted a cutout for you to see the trousers. You can wear the trousers on their own. I do like the fact that they're slightly flared at the bottom. These flared trousers are particularly good for women that have broad shoulders because what it does, it broadens the lower bit. So it's giving you that hourglass shape, balances out. It puts you more in proportion. So you can wear the, those trousers like that, only like that with the turtleneck and then that's it. What else? And they fit very well at the waist. They fit quite well on, on the bum area as well. They're very flattering and they work well with everything. Now, next outfit. Okay, so for the next one, I picked this beautiful white Zara office dress with the V-neck. It's beautiful. It's from this year's collection and I got it in size extra small, although it is quite tight. <laughs> but it is the look that I want to have. It's complementing my body very nicely. So I got this one and it's quite a nice material as well. It's an elasticated one. It's very good for day-to-day -day wear. I've paired it with this beautiful blazer and my same gold stilettos and then the nude Mike and Kors bag and a ponytail, which is a bit more, you know, powerful, aggressive look. You can wear it like that and you can wear it in the office. That's for a more formal environment. For a slightly more dressed down look, you can change the stilettos with a pair of trainers. You can change the bag if you want as well. I did it, in the soft white Chanel-like bag. That suddenly gives you a different look. So you can wear it like that. One blazer, a hundred ways. And it's very good for us. I love it. Let's take this another level down. But for the next outfit, I kept the blazer, but I changed the trousers with these jeans. With the warmer pinks, the advantage is you can pair them with denim. In the cutout, I am showing you how to wear this blazer with a very relaxed, slim fit cigarette, I think, pair of jeans. Turn up the trouser ends, obviously, to highlight your beautiful ankle. Paired it with this beautiful laced top from Stradivarius. And this is still a sophisticated look. It still keeps that chic vibe and that glam to it. You don't lose that. I think in all my outfits, you never lose that chicness and glam and feminine aspect to it because it's always in how I can complement my silhouette better. So in this cutout, I paired it with the jeans and then with my laceless platform trainers and with my Michael Kors bag for a smart and yet relaxed casual look for the office. And also have this beautiful gold belt, which helps bring everything together, including the accessories. All in all, it works very well. In the next outfit, what I did is, if you want to have a nice, fresh, and still elegant urban look, what you can do is change those trainers with these beautiful sandals. These are also Zara new collection and they have a smallish kitten heel, six centimeters tall. So it makes them good to wear for walks in the city. The bag I also changed with something a bit more urban with the chain handles, still the same belt, same tank top, same accessories, it's just the sandals. But see, when you change the sandals, different look. It's a bit more relaxed and still sophisticated chic look for downtown. Also, depending on your office environment, you can wear it in your office as well. If you're more of a creative, I don't know, Vogue editorial type of atmosphere, yeah, definitely. Any other suggestions, do comment, because I am curious where would you wear these outfits as well. But they work, they're so flexible, they work in any type of environment. You can also pair them with a pair of white trousers. Denim, it's for a bit of a more relaxed look, and these are a wide leg Zara trousers. With the wide leg, it can go both ways. It can go wrong if they're too large, and your bum gets lost in them. If they're on your bum, and then if they're fit on your bum and then grow larger after, then that's great. They need to be on your waist and on your bum. That's what I think anyhow. Well, that is me, ladies. You wear them as you want. I did have a time when I was wearing baggier jeans, but 
it's a hit and mix with those, yeah. So I prefer them on my bum. You can definitely wear it in the office depending on how formal or casual they are. It's a beautiful look. You can wear it both in the office, both to an event. It's it's quite flexible. It's, it's different ways of wearing different parts of your suit. So when you think about the overall idea of all of these suits is when you buy one, they're very flexible because you can wear them both together in the days that you're like, oh, I can't be bothered. I can't think about what fits with what wear. You just get that suit a white top, trainers, an office bag, and then you're out. Don't forget about the accessories. And then you're out. But also, they're flexible enough that you can wear them separately with different things. And also, you can wear them both day and night, depending on what you wear underneath. You need to make sure that the color doesn't wear you. You wear the color. And the, the color doesn't wash you out. And what white does, it gives you that fresh look. So exciting. Right, the next outfit. <laughs> I went into a darker blush tone. Some call it dirty pink. So I think it's a bit of a rose pink. It's a beautiful, beautiful tone. I have this from Reese from the last year's collection and it's small. This beautiful ribbed blouse, it's quite well done in the sense that it's cut around the waist and it has this beautiful heart uh, neckline which complements very nicely your collarbone area and highlights your collarbone as well which is a very elegant component of our human body. But this is quite a nice lovely top but um, in terms of um, comfort it's not very comfortable to wear it's quite itchy quite abrasive for my skin but it might not be for other ladies it's more autumnal because it's warmer and it's a more of a transitional color going into autumn where we have similar colors yeah when the leaves turn into those beautiful plummy and red colors so it takes you to autumn it's a beautiful look for end of summer beginning of autumn end of winter beginning of spring what did I pair this with I've opted for an inverted look which works very well in this instance so I paired the top with this beautiful flowing pair of white trousers also from Zara which have this cheeky little cutout detail at the waist which I think it's great because it gives you a bit of an edge and it takes your eye to your waistline which is beautiful without being too much it's elegant cheeky sexy but refined just enough it's formal wear so I paired it with this pair of beautiful vintage gold stilettos my uh, Michael Kors office handbag I can fit my laptop in I have two ways of doing this two cutouts in here in the first one I don't wear the bangles the wide Zara bangles because if you want a more muted classic look then you go for discreet jewelry pieces like in the cutout but then if you want to spruce it up a little you can use those wide bangles as the end of your your top it's a beautiful crescendo you have that intermezzo intermediary between your skin and the end of the long sleeve which is this beautiful bangle gives the outfit a bit of an edge and a bling it's shooting it up a little got there in the end and then if you want to dress it down a little bit make it a bit more casual for more of a relaxed look you can pair it with these beautiful wide leg denim trousers i got them from zara but you can get them from anywhere pair them also with this gold belt so that the garment pieces transition beautifully from one to another because the color contrast is quite big so that gold color helps with the transcendence between the two then change the earrings in this cutout with a pair of bolt statement earrings which are enough and that gives you that beautiful sophisticated glam timeless look and it helps elevate those denim pieces so if you have a lot of casual items you can easily glam it up a little bit by adding those statement earrings they're quite good but nothing else <laughs> for the today's video hope you all enjoyed it hope you learned some valuable tips from it and i'll see you in the next video